Hi, this is Mary Hodge. This is my second vlog entry on employee engagement. The first question, how does Dr. Brad Shook, what does he mean by spillover effects? So what he means is, this is this was my takeaway. I believe that Dr. Shook means that your work experience, and I think that actually might be a quote, the way the way people experience work has a direct impact on home life. I don't think that was verbatim his quote, but it it does have to do with the way people experience work and how that affects their home life. So for example, someone who's experiencing a negative work environment is likely to bring that home and it could possibly affect relationships, personal and familial relationships. I think that that goes two ways. I think that you can also be having some negative experiences at home that transfer to your work. Um, for example, when I went through my divorce, it was hard to focus at work there. I had major things going on in my personal life so that made it difficult to focus on the things I needed to focus on Monday through Friday, eight to five. So the other side of that is, um, you know, when that happens at work, it certainly can have a, a detrimental effect on your, on your home life. We were asked to describe a negative, a negative experience and what, it, what effect it had on our um, home life. And I'm reminded of a time when I worked for a tech company as a project manager. And one of the network technicians was moved into a, a supervisory position where he basically wanted to manage all of the server side technicians, all the network technicians, and I would manage all the desktop technicians and kind of split up this cohesive team into two separate <clears throat> task-based teams, which, you know, sounds good on paper, but it created this weird divide between the two teams and his management style was much different than mine and his team just wasn't very motivated and we just weren't in sync and it was very stressful it was a very stressful time in my career and I did bring that home it did affect my home life I had trouble engaging with my children when I got home I just either ate too much or didn't eat at all, had trouble sleeping. It was, it was very stressful. That was probably one of the most stressful experiences of my entire career. Um, so I do, I do believe that a happier work environment makes for a happier home life. But like I said earlier, I think that's the same the same goes for home. So you have to find work-life balance. So that's what everyone wants to achieve, right? So you want a person to be engaged at work and you want someone to be engaged at home. So you have to have this balance, work-life balance. So my suggestion is to find an employer, once you have your degree, find an employer who makes work-life balance a priority for their employees. Um, just because that kind of culture really kind of helps, it, it helps with that balance. So you're less likely to experience work in a negative way and less likely to bring that home.